Welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Steven, and I'm a third-year dental student bringing you along with me today for a day in the life of a third-year dental student. My day starts bright and early at 6 a.m. with dog cuddles. Daisy is now sleeping in bed with me and it allows for nice moments like this one in the mornings. First stop, the kitchen to start up today's caffeinated fuel. I love black coffee in the morning and this morning is no different, it just hits. I'm also gonna whip up a breakfast as long days in the clinic need to start out with food. If not, 10 o'clock would roll around and my stomach would be growling loud enough for the entire fourth floor of the clinic to hear. While breakfast is being assembled, I think about Daisy's needs and toss her food into a bowl. For some reason, she's acting really weird this morning and just kind of looks at me when I offer her food. Don't really know what that's about. That rarely happens. Normally, she's all over that bowl in the morning. I cook some chicken sausage in the air fryer and some eggs in the pan. While the air fryer is going, I throw on my gray class scrubs and fix my bird's nest of a head. Breakfast is delicious and I grab some RX bars, my coffee, and my lunch for later and I leash up Daisy to get us both moving. I take Daisy to school most mornings, especially when I have a busy day in clinic. Her daycare is about 15 minutes from my apartment and I've grown to really enjoy this time of day as I get to drive her, drink my coffee, and listen to whatever podcast or music I'm feeling at the moment. It's actually a peaceful time of day for me and Daisy loves it because she knows she has a full day of playing with all the other dogs ahead of her. After dropping Daisy off, I head to the campus of the UTHSC College of Dentistry. Being in my third year, dental school is mostly about treating patients in the clinic for me. I find my morning cubicle for my operative appointment and start the process of setting up for my 9 a.m. patient. The setup and preparation process for a patient always takes time, and I prefer to drop Daisy off and head to campus early so that I don't feel rushed in this morning preparation. Trust me, there is plenty of time in the day when I'm rushing, so I don't like for my mornings to add to the rushedness of my day. I get all my infection control in place, swipe in for attendance, grab a white coat from the machine, and head up to my sterilization locker on the fifth floor to grab all of the instruments and supplies I will need for my morning operative appointment. I also grab a tray full of materials from the operative cabinet, which will help me to do this cosmetic composite resin restoration on one of my patient's anterior teeth. Next up is morning huddle. My clinic group and I gather around most mornings and meet with our group leaders. Group leaders are experienced dentists and they guide us through clinic. In these morning huddles, they cover a variety of dental topics from clinical dentistry to practice management and continuing education. After huddle, the setup process continues as a trip to my fourth floor locker allows me to grab my start check box and my Lumident Ergo Prism loops. Finally, my setup is complete and my patient is here for their morning appointment. Let's do this. After my two and a half hour operative appointment is complete, I sit down to write my post-treatment note. The filling went really well and I was quite proud of my work. I took some photos of the filling but won't show them in this video for my patient's privacy. I was happy with my work. It was a job well done. Cleaning up after an appointment is a process equally laborious as setting up for one. I have to take down all of the infection control products, clean and bag instruments for sterilization, complete treatment codes and write a long detailed note and wipe down everything so that it's completely clean for the next student and their patient. Just like that, I'm transitioning to my second appointment of the day, which will be taking place just a few rows away on the same floor in the clinic. My afternoon appointment today does not center around a live patient, but rather a mannequin head. Does that remind anyone else of some of my earlier videos? This afternoon, I will be completing an endo simulation in which I will perform a root canal on an extracted tooth mounted in a mannequin head. The setup process is long once again. I have to set up the cubicle, but I also have to input a bunch of information into the computer. I add an endodontic diagnosis form which asks a million questions about the imagined patient scenario on the sheet I grabbed, a start check form, and various codes for the endo treatment. I also look up drugs and various medical information about this scenario patient's medical history history so that I'm prepared for my instructor's questions on the matter. At 12.15, I run downstairs to the student lounge to scarf down my lunch. This is a taco bowl meal prep with ground beef slash bison, brown rice, and a variety of veggies. I also have an apple and an RX bar. It's a great lunch and it pairs well with some new girl. Heading all the way back down to the fifth floor, I grab more items from my sterilization locker. Here's the mounted tooth I'll be working on, and that's what it looks like in the mannequin head. My root canal starts at one, and I begin with my endodontic access of the tooth and initial instrumentation. These gray files are placed into the canals at my suspected lengths based off of computer measurements. This x-ray shows my files at their proper working length. After working length is achieved, I instrument the tooth's two canals until I reach the ideal file size. 
I take another radiograph to check the fit and instrumentation of these thicker files. At this point, I test fit my gutta percha points, which are the filling material for the final root canal. I have to make some adjustments as my buckle cone is too short. I wanted to note here how important my Lumident Ergo Prism loops are for my endo procedure. These loops allow me to sit straight up while I work so that these long appointments don't strain my back and neck. Lumident makes wonderful loops and I have loved working with them to review these loops. If you want to see more about them, please check out the links in my description. After more instrumentation, I've gotten both gutta percha cones to the perfect length and it is time to apply sealer and place the cones in their final resting places. The system B allows me to burn off the excess gutta percha and one quick filling later, I have a completed double rooted root canal on my hands. This one came out pretty good and I was happy with it. After a lot of hard work, I'm cleaning up another cubicle and collapsing everything down. Finally, I'm ready to jam entirely too much stuff into a locker that is too small and prepare to leave the clinic. I turn in my white coat and see sunlight for legitimately the first time in nine hours. Before I leave campus, I grab a nice updated shot of the construction of the Dunn Dental Building at UT. We are close to being finished with this construction now, and I'm pumped to see the final product. I go straight back out to Daisy's daycare, where I joyfully pick her up and marvel at her cuteness. Having a dog can be tough, but being with them after a long day is incredible and so worth it. When we get home, Daisy goes straight for her food that she ignored this morning, and I put on a change of clothes to hit the gym. Today I'm hitting a relatively straightforward shoulder workout, as this week I've been focusing on a different muscle group each day. I kind of just got back into lifting weights for the first time in a while, and I'm really enjoying it. Lifting and running together is where I always feel my best physically. I make a protein shake when I get home and show the camera my random Costco buy of Calm, a magnesium supplement that may or may not actually do anything. The jury is still out on that one. Daisy is silly, and after an evening of scheduling some patients and tidying up the apartment, I can finally lay down to fully relax before bed and before the chance to do it all again tomorrow. Friends, I wanted to thank you all for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you enjoy dental school content and watching videos about the dental school experience, you will probably enjoy this YouTube channel. So make sure that you subscribe and like this video to let me know that you appreciate it. This semester has been insane already. I'm only a few weeks in and things are just getting crazier and crazier by the week. So these videos are probably going to become more sparse. I used to upload every week and now I'm probably looking at every, every couple of weeks just because of how much I'm doing with school. But I really do like these videos because I love to show you what it's actually like to be in dental school. And the day in the life format is a good way for me to do it because I don't have to talk to the camera while I'm in the clinic. I can just set it up, do what I'm doing and show you all of the process. I wanna say, as I always do, that I just appreciate each and every one of you. I have spoken to a lot of you and it's been awesome just to see all of you grow with the channel. As you move through your own dental school process, it has been awesome for me to watch all of you grow and I look forward to that continuing. So by the time I'm a dentist and I'm working as a dentist and making videos, I hope to see a lot of you coming back and checking out the channel and seeing some of the techniques I'm using, some of the materials and seeing how the practice is growing so that you can also kind of take some of that advice and use it in your own career. I just appreciate it and I'm still pumped about YouTube, just don't have as much time as I used to. But this was a typical day in the life of a third year dental student and I have plenty more of these to come in the future. About to get into some really big cases and I'm really excited about working with my patients and just getting the things done that they want and need to have done. So hopefully I can show you as much of that as possible. Once again, my friends, I always appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey and continue to stay tuned to the videos as they come out. I still have plans to do so much more in the future and I'm really, really excited about it. As for now, I'm gonna get back to my studying. I have an oral pathology exam coming up and it's very, very important. So once this video goes up, I'm back to the studying. But thank you all again so much for watching, for being part of this. And I guess, as I always say at the end of my videos, I will see you in the next one.